What's going on YouTubers? Long time no see and about 65 pounds lighter and feeling good. Yes, I lost, I, I treaded uh, away 65 pounds, getting in shape. I mean, come on, man. You know how many, it's been probably about eight or more years since I can fit into a large, a large. And anybody know that these lifeguard um, tank tops are meant to be fitted. And just to show you guys, You see there it's a large um, I can now fit larges extra larges even some mediums depending on how fitted I want to shred another 40 to 50 pounds um, I can get rid of these naps <laughs> these, these chest here these these old man chest here is my, my shit used to be full now it's like gone bald like my head but anyway um, you guys are noticing yes um, this that right there used to be here, and these two vistas used to be there. I have rearranged everything. I'm now in the free-spirited, happy, um, collectible um, moments of just collecting what I like. I like it. I buy it. Um, pop, pop, uh, pop, Funko Pop figures are something I used to always like. But I mean, I used to always like them, but I used to make fun of them because I, at that time, I was arrogantly spending um, excessive money on just. Ran on, on Sideshow Hot Toys. I mean, Sideshow Hot Toys are beautiful stuff, but it's too repetitive and they hold no value. You know, they really, they, they hold no real value. Pop figures, even, even pop, even pop common figures from like 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12 are still, I mean, you can still get about retail or a little over retail on what they go for you can't say that with a lot of the other stuff i used to collect that plus i mean come on the hunt and spending ten dollars versus you spending six hundred to a thousand dollars for something that can fall and break and then you know you gotta hope that somebody wants that particular piece and it's just you know, I've been there, done that with so much stuff over the years. Um, I think the more and more I trend, I, I, I transgress, I transgress, excuse me, from one thing to another, I, I, I basically become a better collector as far as I'm concerned. Um, I done, over the years on YouTube, I done collected everything and had everything from transform, full Transformer collections, Hot Toy collections, uh, Marvel Legend and DC collectible collections twice. Uh, G.I. Joe video game. I mean if you guys can look at my old find my old videos and stuff You will see that I don't I don't out collected almost a lot of people out here on YouTube when it comes to What I've had over the years and when I go I go hard man um, Not to, not to toot my own horn or say I'm better than a, better than somebody. I just think that I'm better well-rounded as a collector I would you know people always ask me all the time especially when they see me I get so many people that watch my YouTube channel that some of these people are now my competition at thrift shops. And not only on top of that, they are my competition and they buy from me at the flea market. They say, oh, I know that I've recognized the voice and or the face. And now everybody's getting used to not of me not having a Mr. T haircut and my face being this big. You know, before, you know, my my, my face was about yay big. And I had to, the, what's it called before I started going bald? Now, you know, now my face is all sunken in and, you know, uh, it's crazy. And now I'm wearing um, large shirts that, are, that, that aren't even fitted on me. Like, they have some room on it. It's crazy. You know, just watching what I eat and just, uh, you know, stop picking out. And, you know, you get older, you got to be very careful because I'm not trying to die of any mysterious diseases or catch heart attacks and this and that. I lost two, I, I lost two brothers on YouTube. They're not friends or people that... I like them because, you know, they're the reasons why I start collecting. Now, these are people, I, these are two guys I personally knew. Personally knew. And, um, you know, um, I miss Vic I miss Vic Rosario and I definitely miss my boy Louis Pepe. Because we both became even more closer after Vic passed. Because, you know, we had so much love and respect for him. That we actually gotten a lot closer and got to know each other a lot more um, better after Vic passed. Um, and now Lewis is gone too and of course this is um, a year anniversary of his death by about a couple of days because um, you know his birthday was July 27th and he passed on the 20th of July and again I will never forget you um, Chris for uh, for letting me know what happened because 
Lewis's mom and his family did not have my personal number to know where to look, and Lewis's phone was locked, and they couldn't get into it. Um, so thank you for that, because without you, things that had to be prepared and done wouldn't have been done. So I will never forget you for what you did, brother. Thank you so much. You and Molly were the only ones to call me and see what happened and what was going on and stuff, and I'll never forget the two of you for that. Um, outside of that, I, I, I left a lot of communities and a lot of the BS behind, because a lot of people are just full of it, and... A lot of people don't like me and they're threatened by me because uh, I just don't have time for jibber jabber and nonsense. Uh, I rewrite through bullshit. Always have, always will. So um, I'm now just collecting what I like and I do my videos. Hopefully people watch. They watch, they watch, they don't watch. They don't watch. Um, I have since then gotten to uh, Funko Pop figures. I know it's ironically funny considering the fact that I had some real hot ass pieces that were worth some bread and I sold them and now here it is we're, um, we're into it I say we as in me and Isaiah because you know Isaiah likes pops too and he picks the stuff he wants and then I just do the rest uh, what got me started um, one day I went to Target I mean I always liked the stuff but I was always arrogantly resilient to buying them because I was like oh come on man I collect Sideshow and Hot Toys Why would I? Uh, but I always secretly liked them I thought they were cute I like you know the boxes and the, I mean the boxes and the figures just help. It, it's hard to explain. They, they they are nice pieces and it's something that your money when it comes to pop Funko Pop your figure your, your money's always there. You can't say that with a lot of collectibles because of how expensive and how they look. But at least with Pop and and designer toys your money's always there, always always there. Trust me on that. Um. So yeah, that's basically where I'm at. Uh, and a lot of my comics fell off the wall because of the climate uh, from, I guess, those um, those 3M, t uh, the 3M strips don't hold well under certain climates uh, when you're dealing with heavier items. So, but all my books survived. Or none of the acrylic crack, half, more than half, none of the frames. I think I, I have one or two frames that broke. Other than that, everything else was fine. So thank goodness for that. I sold off a lot of books kept certain books I really really wanted and most of the books are worth over a hundred as well so those are keepers um, only sideshow piece I have left is this piece that I paid a guy $250 to put real white leather customization a teller I went to a teller and he did a great job on this let me show you guys this I never showed you guys this and this is back when I was gonna buy more sideshow stuff and it's funny because I did this piece years ago. I did, I did this years ago, and then I wound up getting it back uh, from. I wound up getting it back from Royal Collectibles, and then I, I customized it more. And then um, the brother-in-law, Mike's brother-in-law, uh, his sister's um, husband Bob, he talked me into doing this, and I think it was one of the best decisions I made. Of course, it took me another two years to find somebody who can customize. Because now in New York, it's very rare to find somebody where you see a shop that says tailoring or teller, tailor, a tell whatever, shop. And <laughs> I'm a black guy, you know, our pronunciation is fucking crazy. Who, who can really tell us stuff and not just do alterations. So this is he. And yes, I actually, his, I made his stand gold. I made his stand gold. And as you can see there, look how beautiful that is. I gave everything to him and he did an outstanding job on this thing. Outstanding. I don't want to drop it. Just want to you know, give you guys a quick glance of how it looks. It's light, but I'm being careful with it. My hands were, um, I was doing something outside of my garage. I had to run up here real quick and I went to move this to something else and I forgot. So that's where that mark behind him came from. But being that it's leather, it'll come right off. But it's just, just a beautiful piece anybody want to see a better you know a better review of it let me know I'll be more than happy to do a better review of this thing uh, but until then that's basically all the only sideshow statue I have and of course I have um, PCS's pop culture shocks um, a Kuma bus that I got as a gift from Jerry Macaluso which is the owner of pop culture shock um, back in Comic-Con 2016, 
which he prom he made me promise not to get rid of it, and I won't. And it's that's why that's still the other. Now that's the only statues I have. I have all four of my original Necker turtles, which are banging quarter scale pieces. Um, have the Christian Bell Batman behind there. Um, I've just been you know just buying what I like. Um, but when it comes to genre of Lego, I've I've since got rid of so much. I must have gotten rid of about a good three hundred and something pounds of Lego. Not even including uh, maybe another fifteen of no twenty to twenty five pounds of minifigure parts, weapons, and accessories. Actually, no, yeah, about thirty, twenty five to thirty pounds of that. Now I think about it. To two different individuals at Columbus, um, I realized that I can get rid of bulk of Lego better in Columbus than I ever could in the Meadowlands. So that's basically, and they don't mind paying for the stuff down there. And my Lego guy from last year, he brought the last three um, lots of stuff that I brought there. Um, somebody else brought one, which is the first Sunday. <sighs> Excuse me, which is the first Sunday that I uh, went back to the market to sell. And the last time I was there, he did he did ask me, do I have other stuff? And I said, yeah, but somebody, somebody's coming to pick up the stuff. And he's like, oh, okay. But, you know, whatever. Um... So when it comes to genre of stuff, when it comes to Lego, I did pick up the box sealed um, Flintstones. I do still want to get Voltron, but I'm not worried about that. I know I, can, I know there's plenty of time for that. He came out last year or I think the year before or something like that. And there's still too many Voltrons out there. At 180 bucks, who really wants to spend that kind of money on it? And I think sooner or later around the holidays or something, they are going to be doing a promotion on him where he's going to be less than half, you know, like just around 100, 100 and a quarter maybe. I'll pick him up. I'm not in a rush to get him because um, I know he's always going to be there. I still want to get the uh, the Simpsons Quickie Mart and the Simpsons House. That's on my radar. Got to have that. Um, but as far as Lego, uh, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, I still have um, some of the vintage um, medieval castle stuff because I got those relatively cheap and for nothing. So those are keepers. Um... SpongeBob, Scooby Doo stuff, uh, Ghostbusters, uh, Back to the Future, the all the Egyptian type stuff. Those are all stuff that I'm into, and of course Star Wars. Other than that, um, I did keep a couple of Ninjago pieces and one Chima piece, a big ass alligator boat ship that's banging. Um, that shit was so hot I had to keep it. Um, I kept one of the uh, Ninjago ships, not the real big expensive one, but the one right under it. I also kept one of the uh, one of the pirates. I think it's either Pirates Caribbean or a pirate ship. That's also nice. And I kept I think one or two um, Ninjago like temple type things. That's kind of stuff got to keep. Other than that, like all the jets and the dragons and all, I got rid of all that shit, man. Um, you know that stuff. I'm not really. I don't. I don't need it. Um, plus, I, I'm limited. Limited for space. Anyway, uh, and the same thing with um, Funko Pop. I don't want to go crazy, so I'm, I'm controlling what I spend and what I pick, what I bring in here for accumulation. Like um, advertisement themed stuff, definitely got to keep that. Um, Simpsons, I have, a, I have, I have some, I have some Simpsons uh, from South Park. I got Terrence and Philip. I got all the uh, Ghostbuster characters. I think I'm missing one. I think that was seven. I had to stay puff marshmallow man. I don't have the other big boxes like Peter Vinkman on the side of the the uh, the headquarters. Don't have that. I don't have Peter and I think Ray trying to um, put Slimer in that in that uh, that thing. And then there's another one also. I think it's two or three of them that I don't have. I didn't really want to get it. I may go out and get them just to complete it. Uh, from Jaws, I'm missing um, the Jaws that doesn't have the tank in his mouth. I have the one right before Brody blew him up with the tank in his mouth. I have that one, but I don't have the other one. I have all three of those Jaws characters. I have all four of the Sour Patch Kids. Um, I have both of the uh, the Peeps um, bunnies, which is the yellow and I believe the pink or red, whatever the hell it is. I have Captain. I have um, Target exclusive Captain Crunch, Twinkie the Kid, Green Giant, and Sprout. Um, KFC's Colonel Sanders, the Kool-Aid Man, 
Woody Woodpecker, Bazooka Joe, Honey Smacks, I think the Diggum Frog or something like that, whatever his name is. And I also have Can't Get Enough Sweet Golden Crisp. But up, but up, but up, but. I have Sugar Beer. From The Simpsons, I have Radioactive Man, Lisa, Grandpa Simpson, Maggie Simpson. I have Moe. I have Mr. Burns, Bartman, I think that's his name. And I have Homer Mui. Mui me or whatever. He's a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, as far as horror stuff, I have Child's Play, Child, Child's Play 2, Chucky. I have um, Bloody Hannibal Lecter. I swore I had the regular Hannibal Lecter, so I got to pick him up because I thought I did, but I didn't. I have um, Jack Nicholson's um, Shining character, which is Jack Torrance. I have Freddy, Jason, I have uh, Bloody Michael Myers, regular Michael Myers, Hannibal Lecter, oh, I said Hannibal Lecter, who's the other one? Oh, I think it's it's the newer It movies, It Clown, um, the regular version. Uh, I have a couple of Spongebob characters, including the big, the big Target exclusive one. I have a lot of different shit here. Um, George and Louise Jefferson, Fred and uh, Lamont Sanford. I got num I got um, both princes. Well, there's more than one, but I have number 80, 81. And my apologies for side view of what you guys are seeing because I'm trying to show you what I got. I'm gonna be doing a room tour soon. I have, you know, I have a lot of vinyl all around now. I, um, I have a nice amount of Charlie Brown um, figures or figuras. <laughs> That's an inside joke. I got stuff all over, man. Um, Yesterday, um, I had to take my son to New York to his doctor because his, you know his his premier, um, his pre, his whatever his fucking uh, main doctor, well his doctor period is in New York, and um, I had to take him there. And uh, I wound up doing a couple things. First thing I did is I went to JNL Games, and I wanted to sell some um, video game stuff I had. Uh, took it to the market twice. What I wanted, what I thought was fair, nobody wanted to pay. Um, can't knock them. So I wound up selling. I had a black and red Wii. The black Wii was complete. The red Wii was not complete. It didn't even have the the, uh, the red drawers. The, the, the those two top things that's always missing. That um that covers the uh, GameCube control port and the SD card port. I know I had them, but I think somebody went in the box and stole those pieces off. Um, because I know I had them. And I don't I don't know where the uh, the PS1 adapter is, but being that JNL games do fix systems and they have all they have hundreds of thousands of all these accessories. Um, and I know both of the Wii's worked as well as the PS1. And then I had I think I had one or two Game Boy Colors. I know one of them the speaker didn't work. And I think the other one, there was a problem with the screen or something like that. And then there was also a pink see-through Game Boy Advance that they also took from me. Um, that one was missing the... No. Half the screen worked on that. So basically everything was like mismatched. Mitch matched. Excuse me. Um, then I had some games here and there. A couple game, I think the most expensive game was like 10 bucks. And it was maybe about eight or nine of those, maybe a little bit more. Um, just a couple of other accessories, a couple of nunchuck and the uh, Wii controllers, which ain't shit because none of them had the battery pack covers on them. But again, they'll, they'll they took all that because again they have all those accessories to replace them, and all my stuff did work outside of the handheld systems I told you guys about. I wasn't expecting to get much out of it because what I kept home was, and it was also I think a DS Lite or a DSi. So what I did was I actually. All I kept, I, I kept a lot of things out of that, actually. I kept two Game Boy Pockets, because they were in perfect condition, working condition, and sound condition. I kept one Game Boy Color, which came with a Game Boy camera. And uh, I kept this. All right, so this is a DS Lite. The other one was a DSi. The DSi probably, I'm pretty sure it did work. But being that when I got it, it didn't work because it wasn't charged. This was charged, so this definitely works. Um, I know that for a fact. As you see, it comes right on, and it'll go right into the whatchamacallit. So this already had a charge, and most of the systems I told you guys about, I got from one of my thrift shops uh, about a month ago. So I've been trying to sell this stuff in bulk. Um, unfortunately, nobody wanted to buy them. Um, another thing I kept too for the uh, the 3DS, 
was um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. Most likely ain't gonna play it, but still no, whatever. And I don't remember where I got this GBA Madden 05 from, but whatever. So I kept these, because I went to take this to them, but I was like, you know what, I'll just sell them that, because I know this works, and whatever. So I was like, all right. Um, so he wanted to give me a decent, even though all that stuff was like, some of the stuff was busted, but they could fix it, and it wasn't everything was in good condition other than what I just told you guys. And we went up doing a trade. Um, and, you know, it worked out better for him because he buys stuff real, he buys stuff cheap enough from whoever. And it wasn't costing him anything because it was basically like, all right, well, I got plenty of D, uh, 3DSs and all these handhelds, and I'm getting this bulk of stuff. He can make more money off of all the stuff he got from me than off of this anyway. And I always wanted a 3DS XL, the new one. I think I only had one, and I think it was kind of damaged, and I got it fixed. Um, but this is one of the ones I always wanted, which is the Pikachu um, version of it. And it is the uh, 3DS new Pikachu. And, of course, these have since gone down a lot in price. I mean, this I can still get, like, just in this condition right now, I can get, like, 150 for this all day, for this particular one. And that was basically about, I'm not going to go into details, but it was a lot more than what I was offering for this stuff. And he said, you know what, for you, I'll just do an even swap. And he wound up giving me a brand new adapter to go along with it, because I guess whoever traded it in didn't trade it in with stuff. And this actual this adapter, which is ironic because it actually works for the new 2DS XL, the new 3DS, the new 3DS XL, obviously, uh, the regular 2DS, the, the regular 3DS XL, the regular 3DS, the uh, DSi XL, and the DSi. Unfortunately, I just realized it don't work for the DS Lite. But whatever. It's a $15 value, and he basically gave it to me with this. So that's cool. Because I can turn around and still sell this with this and still get almost twice as much as what he what, what I was offered in cash for the stuff I just mentioned to you guys. If I decide to go that route. I was going to pick up a, a PS Vita, but I'm going to do some more research on it and see if I can find somebody who can emulate it and, and do all the put mad games and shit on it. Then it'll be probably worth me having a handheld PS3 in my hand. Because I think the Vita is the most powerful handheld system i still think it's a lot better in a way it's still a lot better than the switch in a lot of ways but you know i mean nintendo is the you know they're the king of handheld i'm mean, at the end of the day don't matter i mean you know their home systems stay above water and their handhelds i mean they went up against every any and everybody who made the best handheld systems in the world and still whoop everybody's ass we're just doing basic shit and one so that was that yesterday. Um, that was in a way of us going back home because we, we were maybe two and a half, two hours and change in Brooklyn. Then from there, you know, we went to eat at the uh, the Hot Dog King, which is right off of Fulton and Elm Street, Elm Place or something like that. I've been eating there since I was a kid. So you know, their hot dogs are the best. Oh, forget about it. You haven't had a hot dog until you go a hot dog or a sausage until you go to Elm Place and um, Fulton Street downtown Brooklyn. Bananas, the best. Um, just something about the way they make their, just something about their hot dogs that are just, I can't, it's, I can't explain it. So we did that in Brooklyn, and um, I went to see. Um, I had to use the restroom, so I went to Toy Tokyo. I didn't know that Lev was back from San Diego Comic Con, so he was there. We were talking, and um, you know, we worked out something. And I wanted to pick it up 11, 11 pop figures from him. Um, the Mariah Carey, Michael and Sam Emerson from the Lost Boys, that's three. I picked up, um, Peeps, Yellow Bunny, and what is that, Pink or Red Bunny, whatever the hell it is, that's five. Uh, let's see what else I picked up from them. I picked up, I can't think right now. I picked up number 81 Prince with him that, he got, he got the... I think it's called something third eye girl or something like that. I got that one. I mean, I got I got a nice amount of shit from him. I mean, I got I got some nice stuff. I got 11, 11 pieces from him and all eleven pieces I needed, including the Scooby Doo. Um, not the flock, but the regular Scooby Doo to finish off my Scooby Doo set that that's out already. Um, 
and there's some other ones I can't think of the damn names right now. Um, but from um, the Harold Square GameStop, I picked up three because there was buy two get one free. But technically, it was like a couple dollars off the third one because they charge like a, I think an extra three to four dollars per figure versus every other GameStop because they're in Harold Square, so they pay a higher rent. Um, so yeah, that was that. I'm, again, I'm sorry for the colorations and everything. Um, so I picked up the Venomized Storm, Venomized Deadpool, oh, no, Dead Dead Double, excuse me, Venomized, Venomized Dead Double, Venomized Storm, and I picked up number 289, I think 80th year Batman or something like that. Uh, that was it. Today, I, you know, today was 50% off at a uh, uh, local thrift shop I go to. Not really that local because they're in a couple of towns away from me, but they only, it's like 20, 25 minutes away depending on traffic. Um, so I've been in about two weeks because I've, you know, I've been buying storage units and selling them for the last two and a half weeks. So I, I've been staying away from that place. Today I went there and this bucket of uh, Legos, um, the guys was like, oh, stay away from that. You don't want to buy it because, you know, I only see two figures, too many figs in there. And the way they, they had all these books, all these books were basically, let me show you exactly how, uh, that's right, that one fell. I'll show you exactly how it was. Oh, it was on top of this bin, just like this, and it was taped up with all this junk. I did a video, but the video got messed up, and I pressed the wrong button by mistake. So that's why I'm doing all this video over, because I actually showed this. The, the other video was basically me showing... You know, with this stuff on, you know, already sealed in it, and I had to break the plastic and everything, so I do the video over. Um, so yeah, it was uh, twenty bucks, and I, I kept pinching around the plastic and stuff to try to see if I can move some of these books to the side to try to see if I see any more minifigures. And I was like, you know what? If there's at least three minifigures in here, because one there was a Batman, which was this Batman, on the bottom. And then when you kept playing around with it, I knew this was Craven. I didn't see his face, but I could tell from the coloration and the fur around his neck. I was like, okay, well, that's 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 Craven. So there's some Spider-Man minifigs in here, and that's Batman. So there should be some other Batman or DC characters in here as well. You couldn't really tell. And being that, of course, this is a smaller bin, and there's a lot of accessories in here. One thing I learned over time is minifigures are small enough to be hidden through bigger uh, bigger brick pieces. So when I looked, I was like, okay, there's Batman. He may not have the cow, but whatever. There's a, you know, Batman's easily worth about, at least, about the cow, about five to six bucks. Craven gotta be like a 10, you know, an eight to 10 or, or, or better um, piece. But then when I was pinching around, I had to pinch around through this. Now when I say pinch around, this was actually, covering the whole top of uh, that bin. So, you know, I was basically just grabbing at this because this was taped all around and just like trying to grab out the books and lift it a little bit and move it to the side as I was tilting the uh, the bin. You know, there's, there's, there's a, you know, there's a, uh, there's a pattern to it. I've been picking up so many Legos, there's a pattern to it. Not everybody know the pattern. So I was doing that and that's when I saw Green Goblin. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. For those two, for Craven, Batman, and Green Goblin, I'll pay the twenty dollars for that for that for the bin. Because I could easily get thirty bucks, twenty to thirty dollars just for that bin alone, especially with these booklets in it. So as I'm going through it, I'm going through it and like I said, the other video got messed up unfortunately. So I got about fifteen characters. Fourteen but fifteen including this little mini penguin. This is probably like a five dollar figure by itself or more because I know that some of these little side characters are worth more than some of the main guys. So let me show you guys what I got um, as far as Batmans go. Might as well show you all these Batman. These I didn't notice until I opened it up, and I was like, "Oh snap! Okay, okay, even better." Of course, the Batman I saw on the bottom didn't have his cow, so we got pop my hand, my big ass fucking oh, fingers. I may have a Batman cow somewhere. Um, so we got these two. Sorry for the lighting again, folks. This is some kind of deep sea diving Batman. 
Then you have Batman with uh, yellow trunks on and boxing and blue boxing uh, gloves. I gotta look and see if those are accurate. Cause you know sometimes you never know, man. Um, I just want to make sure that these are licensed pieces. Okay, well that is. So this is another rest of them are. All right, we got Green Goblin uh, Skiff here. All right, then of course we have Craven. We even have Penguin, and you saw the little Penguin guy again. So we have Penguin and his Penguin pet, as well as um, Craven the Hunter. Then of course we have Scorpion. Hopefully I can find Ghost Rider in here, but here is, oh, there was, here is his head. Jesus Christ, is it, it's so dusty. Hopefully I can find him and his bike. We got uh, Aunt May. Then we got two versions of Spidey, which I, I probably got about seven or eight of the, this Spider-Man. This one, I don't think I have that many, but I think it's, uh, so it's not Scarlet. I forgot about Spider-Man, but these two are also in here. Then again, like I said, you got Green Goblin, Spider Woman. Then we have Alfred Pennyworth, and I believe this is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne in a white tuxedo. So there's 15 here. Let me count again: one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, 15 minifigures. 15 of them at $10 a pop. You already know what that is. Even at $5 a pop, that's still what? Even at $5, which is cheap, for 15 of them. Um, that's what? $75, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Yeah, 75. Um, so just for that, I know my receipt said forty-one dollars and thirty-one cent. Um, that was that bin that you guys saw. Um, this PSP, this PSP, it did not. I mean, unfortunately, it doesn't have a charge. But I figured it worked because the first thing I did was open it up, and I noticed that the battery port, um, that the battery itself is not extended. Um, it's, I mean, you know, finding um, PS Vita um, chargers are easy. I can always go anywhere and find them. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to charge this to see if it works. They had two of them. They had this one. They had, had, a, they had another one for $19.99. It was the slimmer one. But right here on um, this upper toggle button right here, there was like a lot of rust around the acrylic button. So that told me that, all right, it must have been rusted or must have been a flood or something. So I wasn't going to take a chance for $10 because today was half off. I know enough seniors there to where I can get, you know, half off because Wednesday is always 50% um, off senior day, except for certain tickets. Like stuff that come out the day before and that and the day of, they don't, not, nothing's 50%. But stuff, but anything else, you know, is. So I got that. I got the bin I just showed you with these uh, Legos today. And then this is the last thing, which was $4.99. Ironically, it was cheap because normally, these sealed things over time have been going up in price. Uh, this one I'm going to keep sealed because, like I said, I collect Lego Star Wars stuff. And being that this is already sealed, even though the box is not in the best condition, it doesn't make no sense to open it just to display the figures when I already got the figures. Plus, I don't need them to display because they're already in, the, in, their, in their box. So I paid $41 for all this and just those 15 minifigs alone. Sometimes, you know, even though... Because sometimes you don't know if people are just... Being friendly and telling you, oh, don't buy that. Don't do it to yourself. And then sometimes you don't know if they're just doing it because, you know, you never know. But I don't do anything. You know, I do what I do. I don't, I don't you know, even though maybe somebody is trying to help me, but I just do what I do for me. I don't really give a shit about nobody else's opinion or their thoughts on certain things. Everybody's like, oh, it's been there for two days. Nobody else brought it. Yeah, look at me. I brought it and I came home and I already found 15 figures and I don't even know what else is in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't go through it yet. So technically I paid, again, I got 15 figures, a PSP that I don't know that works, but regardless, 
for 15 um, mini figs, 75 dollars worth, even that five dollars a pop. You know, I mean, even if I did half of that, half of 75, it's still $32.50. So $32.50 uh, for 15 mini figs. Come on. A PSP and a, a, a $12, a 10 to $12, yeah, $12 um, Star Wars um, Tatooine Battle Pack set. Even if I did 32 on that and then 10 on that, it's still like I get the Vita for free. I mean, um, the PSP for free. So that's basically that, you guys and Goyles out there. Um, I am going to be showing a video uh, soon of, you know, like a, a, a walkthrough or whatever. And um, also, not last week, um, two weeks ago, because I uh, last time I was at the market was not this Saturday that I passed, the following Saturday that I passed, the um, the day um, the day that um, I knew Pacquiao was gonna beat Thur um, Thurman. I thought the fight. I, I I personally thought he carried him for the fight. I could be. I'm not. I'm not trying to take that away from um, Thurman, 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 whatever his name is, or his fans. He's a decent fighter, but I don't think he's on that level. And the way Manny Pacquiao was fighting, and I just think that I don't. I just have my own interpretation of what I think. And I, even though Pacquiao was getting older, I just, I knew Pacquiao was still going to win by decision, but, because once I knew he wasn't going to knock him out, I knew he was going to win by decision anyway. I was saying that through the whole fight. And no, it was going to be a draw. I knew it was going to, I knew it. I knew it. And it was exactly what I thought it was. But anyway, that Saturday, that was the heat wave Saturday where it wasn't that many vendors at the market. And... It wasn't that it wasn't crazy with customers, but the customers that were there were buying. And one of the guys I know from all my Brooklyn auctions, his name is Wilson. Is it Nelson or Wilson? I think it is Wilson. Real nice, real nice um Spanish dude. I think he's Puerto Rican or something. I didn't recognize him at first because he had scarves and shit all over his head and he had sunblock on. And I was like, damn, this guy do look and we both look at each other like because of course last time he saw me I was I was huge. Like, you know, and, you know, big face and always had to miss the T haircut. So we were like, I was like, Wilson? He said, T? So it was funny, like, three or four hours later. So I wound up getting this stuff from him. Uh, one kid beat me to the 89 Batman, but I think I paid 10 bucks for all this. It was later in the day. He was packing up. Everybody was packing up. So I wound up getting um, General Zod, Movie Masters, um, In Shackles, um, Man of Steel. Kind of beat up. So what I'm going to do is um, take it out the box. Um, then I got, um, I think her name is Maria Hill from S.H.I.E.L.D. One of the Marvel Legend Maria Hill S.H.I.E.L.D. figures. Had this um, Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. This Hulk, you always see, I always see so many of him. And of course, Marvel Legends, um, Black Panther. Oh no, I'm sorry, um, Eric Killmonger. I thought it was Black Panther, Eric Killmonger. So yeah, I paid ten dollars for all this. Earlier on, he wanted a lot more for a lot of the stuff he had. Um, this Saturday, I probably missed out on some good stuff that passed because I was on the garage sale here, and I don't know if he came back and or I don't know what people had out there to sell and whatnot. But I was like, eh, I was I was alright cool with that. Um, this piece, I don't know where the hell I got it from. I can't find out who this guy is. I thought it was a, a, a Halo figure. I don't I found it in my truck on the floor. I just I'm having problems with this. It says made in China. Then over here says 2016. I can't make out who the hell this guy's supposed to be. I'm thinking he was he's some kind of video game dude, like somebody from a video game, because there's no other markings on him. I don't know who this guy is. I gotta look him up because that curios that curiosity. Curiosity is going to kill me. Other than that, oh, that's it. 
that's all the updates I have for you guys and girls out there. Um, I think at Columbus I also picked up this. And it had him in it. It had a G.I. Joe ambush in it. Um, he needs a new O-ring, but he's in great condition otherwise. And it had uh, about 11, I think 10 or 11 um, lanyard figures. These sell for pretty decent money. I think I paid five bucks for the whole bag. I was gonna pay 15 if I had to, but the kid was, I was like, how much is that? He said, oh, seven bucks. And I said, well, I was buying other stuff from him. So I said, would you take five? And he said, sure. This is the 11th guy, but his arm is busted. So that's why I didn't put him in there. Um, so yeah, that's about it, man. I, uh, that's about it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Stay up. Peace.